Infinite Time, Time Series. La 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 la. Hello, I'm Holke79, and today I'm going to show you how to do this effect. Yeah. We are going to go step by step, but before starting out, I'm going to show you the you know the basics of this unit you're going to work with a reference layer here that's always better to have as a guide layer then we are going to have a null object here to guide the movement of the particles of the emitter and then just a regular layer it can be a shape layer or a, yes, a solid here with this effect called CC particle systems 2 so let's go from scratch here and the first thing that we need is a new layer easy peasy solid that's it then if we go to the effects and presets here and we search for cc particle systems is this one we apply it to the layer like this bada beam and you are going to see how far away we are from the desired result. So, particle systems are not a very easy matter. There are, there are a lot of buttons here and controls, so it's kind of crazy. But I'm going to try to explain you the, um, the basics of it so that you can then experiment and make your own stuff with them. So the thing is, we have in the particle systems, in any given particle system, we have an emitter, which here is called the producer. Then we have the particles itself, and also like the birth, the birth rate is like affecting the particles. And then it's like the environment, the physics, that are going to affect the particles from the moment they are uh, given birth. <laughs> <laughs> so to say. So let's see when we have a lot of uh, stuff here going on. So I went to a very um, long process to, to understand how to do that. But I'm going to tell you some of the things that we can change. For example, the longevity, we need to give it like these are seconds. For example, let's put it here, uh, put it uh, five seconds. Uh, and then in particle, we are going to change this to lens convex. Then the maximum opacity, we are going to put it to 100. So this is super, super, super complicated. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm going to teach you one of the main things, which is uh, linking the producer here, because we are going to animate the producer, how it goes uh, through the frame so that we can match the, the shape of a letter or a text. So let's see how to do that and then I'm going to show you the exact results and also maybe I can share the After Effects project with you. Please bear with me, don't, don't leave here because the good stuff is going to come. So we need a new null, ob null object here, okay? And this is going to be our meter in a way, not exactly, but we are going to link here, the position of the producer, which is the, the emitter, to this null object. How can we do that? So, if we click with Alt pressed or Option in Mac here, at the stopwatch in the position, okay, and we come here to this layer, we can link with this uh, control here, the position of the emitter of the particle systems to the position of the null object. Okay, like this. I'm going to expand this a little bit so that you can see it. So, now, if we animate this null object here, let's put a keyframe here. We move it to the beginning. We move them around, okay. We are going to, in a way, be like painting with particles, okay. So that's maybe the main thing of this effect. So let's say that I want to do a B, a very rough B, okay? Let's do it like very, 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 very roughly, okay? 
So this is a real mess. So the thing is that we need a reference. So let's go for our text layer here. Let's say that we want to paint a bee. We put it on the center of our frame. And now it's a matter of getting rid of this mess that we made here. We go to the first frame and we are going to start putting it on the form that we want to match and moving forward and moving it along. Okay? So we can, as you know, like change the motion path as long as we animate. And I'm going to do something that is like I'm going to move it like in lines like this very very roughly okay let's keep going let's say that this is our B I'm going to check the result okay that's one thing so the next thing that I need to do is obviously later on we're going to refine this this shape here okay but I'm going to start messing around with the particle systems. So the first thing maybe is this explosive and the velocity. If we put here, we change to something lower like 0, 0,1, we'll see that they don't go that far away. Now you see that they are like kind of falling, falling down very quickly. That's because if we, if you go here to the physics. There is the gravity, okay? I'm going to delete the gravity, so I'm God now, okay? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, so now they're kind of hanging in the air, okay? And we need to um, crank up the resistance, let's say 20. So now we are closer and closer and closer. It's a matter of step by step changing stuff here which is working for us okay let's see here you see that in the particle we have the bird size and the death size we are going to match that one to one and we don't want we don't want them to fade out here let's say that we want them constant so now we are really really close to the result that we are looking for so let's say uh, also when you use a layer for reference remember always that you can right click and go here and make it a guide layer that way it's not going to be on the render okay so that's another trick right there this is cool okay so we are kind of there and then it's a matter of you know this is like very very um, I don't know straightforward no, in a way so we can animate whatever we want here let's say that we want it to make this thing and then here we want the particle to stop so that's very easy because if we could click here in the birth rate okay we have now we hit U we have this this keyframe here so if we want them to stop here maybe we can right click make this a toggle toggle hole I don't know to how to pronounce this sorry hold keyframe and in this particular moment whenever it's like the shape uh, we ended uh, making the shape that we want it can be a zero here so that way if we preview the animation it goes it goes and it stops there so no more particles and another thing that you can notice is that they are like kind of disappear and that's because the longevity is set to five seconds if you want them to not disappear at all we can like put here for example 10 seconds okay so if we preview it again you see that they are not going to disappear fingers crossed here because yeah 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 so they stay there so that's very cool so now I'm going to click on the position and I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to be adding some points here because I I want more precision and more you know a nicer uh, shape for the movement so now I'm going to go for the cursor selection tool the B 
and I'm going to start moving them like this and with this I'm moving or changing uh, the path of the motion so that's super super cool so yeah so the last thing that I'm going to show you and then I'm going to go to the previous uh, compositions that I already made and these are the ones that you I show you here okay so the actual uh, composition of this effect is inside this After Effects project and I'm going to, to share it with you so the last thing that we are going to do is we select all the keyframes for the position and if we right click them we have this option here super cool rough across time again mm, don't <laughs> please forgive my pronunciation I don't know if that's but yeah it's this, this option here okay this very option if we click here we kinda control all the so with the first and the last keyframe we control all the movements so if we select the first and the, and the last and we make them easy ease like F9 okay we can go to the graph editor and we are going to control the whole thing how cool is that okay that's super cool okay let's hit N here so that we can see this in a loop and yeah the rhythm now is super cool okay so that's the thing and that's mainly what's going on here let's go for example to the fast example and this is like this is the reference layer let's crank up the outline so that you can see it this is just the reference and if you go to the leader you see that the animation actually follows the shape of this font which is silver garden it's super cool in in the post here let's see because I I don't remember right now but yeah it's by silver stack type foundry and it they they do super super cool stuff okay let's go to their Instagram wow they said this is amazing the typefaces that they make are really really cool so I'm going to do this this is a deal with you I'm going to upload this uh, After Effects project so that you can go here to the particle layer and if you hit here you can see the exact settings that I used to create this effect also you can see stacked here some other effects that I used to achieve the final uh, look and feel because there are some other stuff going on so I think that's all so with that said please remember to subscribe and let me know if you preferred the artificial intelligent, intelligence girl or, or if you prefer myself talking. Uh, I think the tutorial was a little bit messy, but life is messy, so see you in the next one. Kinetic Type Series.